Hello, everybody. Welcome into the 40 Acres post game show live here with Matthew Miller and D4 Sports. We are brought to you by Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, as you see down below. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe down below. Obviously, super excited to be back for the first game of the season with a Texas Longhorn win. I'll put the score up there 52 to 10 versus Louisiana Monroe. Overall, good performance. What'd you think, D4? Uh, I was there's key components that I was impressed with. Uh, still some components that I'm concerned with. Uh, as far as first game, you know, pregame or first game jitters, uh, we have young offensive line. Uh, there was some mistakes made, but all in all, we did what we were supposed to do against who we were supposed to do it against. So that that's key right there. 100%. And I'm going to flash this up there real quick. What stood out? Uh, to me, a couple of players I was talking to D4 before the, uh, before the show started. Uh, Baron Sorrell on the defensive side really stood out, got a sack and a half, played really well when he was in there. Got UT, to me, popped off the screen of getting a pretty consistent push and pass rush on the defensive line. Uh, obviously, Deshaun Jamison with the interception return for a touchdown and also a blocked punt. Spectacular job by him on special teams. Overall, the special teams has gotten so much better since Jeff Banks has been here. Uh Obviously, we had some snafus with what happened on the kick with Bert Auburn with the snap, and then the hold wasn't good either. But I think that will be worked out, and those are young guys there at all those positions. They're all new, basically. So we need to give them time, and then the drop punt. But other than that, a pretty clean game as well. Uh, I basically stopped keeping track after the third quarter because after that, the benches were unloaded even into the third quarter, like two or three minutes left. They were unloaded, Hudson Card, and a bunch of backups came in. But up until that point, we only had three penalties. So that's what stood out to me. What about you, D4? Yeah, what stood out to me is, uh, you know, uh, I know he didn't make a ton of plays or anything, but the one great catch he had, uh, Casey Kane, uh, showed explosiveness. Uh, some, of the, some of the young guys is what I'm impressed with. Uh, I have down here uh, Casey Kane. Uh, Gilbo made a, f a few outstanding plays. Uh, uh, Coburn got his sack. And seeing Jamon Tapp uh, applying pressure uh, on the sack that Coburn uh, benefited from, but he benefited from Tapp's pressure that ran him straight into Coburn. So uh, seeing uh, him and Justice Finkley get, get some time, uh, on the field, uh, pass rush looked pretty pretty good. Uh, that's 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 what stood out to me is it may have been ULM's you know terrible offensive line, but we did what we were supposed to do. A hundred percent. I think that's another takeaway from this game. We did exactly what we were supposed to do. There was nothing like fancy that we really had to do to score any points it was pretty vanilla play calling from sark for the most part uh i like that he got jatavian sanders involved he played very well in this game got his first touchdown catch uh, along with quinn ewer's first touchdown throw my key to the game coming into this and we talked about this on the pregame and the big or the big 12 pregame and also all the other texas live shows that we've done the past couple weeks is quinn ewers needs to be able to connect on the deep ball we did not see that tonight and that is worrisome going in uh, obviously into next week so hopefully he can start to connect on those. Hopefully they get the rhythm and timing down in practice because at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. He has the arm strength to make those throws down the field. It's all about the timing and the precision for him to be able to do that. So hopefully they get more reps in. Yeah, he definitely uh, showed off the arm strength. Uh, he actually, you know, overthrowing uh, Xavier Worthy uh, a few times. Uh, he has the arm strength to get it there. Um, uh, his footwork was a uh, concern to me a little bit on some of those throws. Uh, but the kid has a cannon, and he some yeah. of the uh, some of the uh, off platform throws that Sark has been talking about uh, during the preseason. Uh, we've seen a few of those tonight, to where he just made a play. Uh, you know, uh, and another thing uh, that stood out to me was, man, Bijan just keeps at adding to his repertoire. We know he's a great receiving back, uh, and he just put that on full display tonight. Yeah. And watching the game, when I looked down at the box score, I was surprised Bijan only had, uh, what was it, like 14 touches total, 10 carries, 4 uh, catches. And I was kind of surprised by that. He seemed like he touched the ball more. It's, And I think it's just because with the little touches he did get, he obviously did very well with them. I averaged over 7 yards a carry, had 40 yards on 3 catches and a touchdown. He just played a Bijan-type game. It was very simple, very easy. That's how he makes the game look. And overall, just we were on a nice cruise control.